Hello Power Apps devs, my name is Andrea, and in this video, I'll show you the JavaScript code that I use to show or hide a tab in a model-driven app form based on a selection I made in a different field. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is select the tab that we want to hide based off of a different field. So in this demo, I'm going to be hiding the lodging tab if we select business travel from this trip type option set. Let's look at our base code. I have Visual Studio Code open. If you don't know how to get Visual Studio Code on your machine, watch my previous video on how to show high different option sets based on a specific option set. That will show you how to download Visual Studio Code. This is my base code, and as you can see, I've added some naming to the um, strings here so that it'll be easier for us to follow along. In this first get attribute, we're going to put in the option set schema name. So that would be the trip type uh, schema name. In, in um, this string here, we're going to put the tab name. And here we're going to add the value ID for that schema name. And down here, we'll put the same tab name. So let's go grab all of those uh, fields. We'll go into Power Apps. We'll go to Trip. We'll go into Columns. And we will grab the trip type option schema name. So APS underscore trip type option. And this is just for demo purposes. We want to say that whenever they select the first option, we want to hide the lodging tab. So I know that the trip type option is with value number one. So I'll take that and I'll add that to my code here. We'll take away the string that was really just for demo purposes and we'll put the number one. So if trip type option is selected, the first option is selected, we want to get the tab name. So let's go ahead and get that tab name. We'll have to go into the form for that. So we'll go into the trip form. We'll go into the all-in-one form. That's the form I'm using for this demo, but please use whatever form that you're using. And we'll select the lodging tab. And we'll take this name, the second name, not the label, but the name that is trip underscore lodging for me and we'll place that here and we'll place it again here. We'll go ahead and save it and we'll add it as a web resource as well as add it to the on change and on load of the form. If you already know how to do this, uh, feel free to skip this part. And just as a reminder, I will be adding this base code to the description of this video. So since we're already in the form, we're actually going to have to go back and add it as a web resource. So we'll go here, we'll click on new, we'll click more, web resource. We'll choose file and then select your file. I've selected my file. Make sure that you have JS in your file here at the top. I've given it a name and I'm going to click on save. Once that saves, we'll go ahead and go into the trip form again and first we're going to add it to the onload of the form so we are in the main form here on the right hand side we'll go to events we'll add an onload as you can see this is the event from the previous video that I created to show or hide specific values in an option set that you can watch on my YouTube video, but we'll add another one. So we'll click on add library. If I click on tab, hide tab, add that, we'll grab the function name. And like I said, if you already know how to do this, feel free to skip this part and click on done. And then when we go to trip type option, we do something similar as we did in the previous video. We'll select hide tab. Okay. 
click on publish. One thing we want to do is actually set this lodging tab to not visible. So we'll hide this and publish again. And we want to make sure that the onload is selected to the right library. So then when you go back to the model driven app, go ahead and do a hard refresh, select any of your uh, records here. And you'll notice that lodging is not visible by default. And then if I select business travel, lodging appears here as a tab. If I select family vacation, it disappears and vice versa.